everyone welcome back to Ellie Potts Bespoke YouTube channel today we're going to be making some of these corker ribbon bobbles and we learned how to make the corker ribbon on a previous video that I posted and I will pop a clickable I button up in the top right hand corner for you to see that video if you want to know how to make these so today I'm going to show you how to make the actual bobbles and put them onto these a couple examples that I've made the long springy corker ribbon bobbles so for this project today you're going to need a needle and thread some scissors a hair elastic a glue gun um, a lighter to seal the ends of the ribbon the corker ribbon that we have made previously you can also buy it pre-made if you wish to do that rather than um, make it yourself and then we will also need a small piece of 10 millimeter um, gross grain ribbon which matches the corker ribbon that you've made so firstly what we're going to do is we're going to get these and we're going to find roughly the middle of each one and what we're going to do is thread through the ribbon the first one we actually just tie it off to make sure it doesn't come out like that and then you're going to alternate the colors now if you're doing more than one color you can put them on how you want two colors i find that alternating them is best so we're just going to thread them onto that needle just roughly find the middle and thread them on alternating the colours as we go. So that's the last one threaded on and you should be left with something like this. I've used 10 strands. This is a school bobble um, and each strand, the measurements are all on the previous video. So what we're going to do now is just find that bottom one, separate them out and then we're just going to wrap the thread around the middle of them. And then tie that off it doesn't have to be tight it's just to keep them all together to stop so that they don't pull through and come out when you attach it to the bobble so there we go we've put them all together on there and then tied them up and we have this now what you can do now if you like to is you can lightly because it's quite springy you can lightly hold on to those and cut the ones that are excessively long or you can leave them how they are and they look quite good when they're actually done so again we're going to find the middle and we're going to pop a little dot of glue on top of where you just sewn that thread around them all and then we're going to get the hair elastic and pop it on there just like this so we've now got it attached to a hair elastic and then just very simply we're going to get a piece of the gross grain ribbon that matches what we've just done we're going to put some glue in the middle not too much that it's going to seep out but enough to keep it attached now what I do here is 
I wrap it round a couple of times. So again, keeping the strands separate on separate sides, we need to wrap that round. We're just going to cut some off this. We're going to wrap this round a couple of times. And then we're just going to heat seal the end of that ribbon and then glue it down. Try and be as neat as you can. Put the ribbon on top of each other so you can't see that it's sort of two or three times wrapped round. And there we go. We have a corker bobble. Now I am going to trim a couple of these ends off because a couple of them are really long. So these two, basically we just chop a little bit off each end of that and don't forget to heat seal where you just cut and there we have it matching pair of corker bobbles perfect for school and there we go so if you want to give them a go yourself like I say, I'll pop a clickable eye button for the previous video on how to actually make this corker ribbon. You can also buy it from various craft shops, uh, ready-made, but I do like to make my own. So if you want to give it a go, let me know how you get on in my Facebook group. It is Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube. If you have a search for that, I'll also put a link in the description box and I hope to see you on the next video. So thanks for watching. Bye.